You know when the music's lowered, something's happening, right? Hi, everybody. First of all, welcome. I'm Mayor Figueroa, and welcome to our second annual Black History Month Expo and Vendor Fair as we close out. Yeah, listen to that applause. As we close out our month-long celebrations. Um, I want to call up at this time Reverend Wright, who will deliver our invocation prayer, followed by the singing of the Negro National Anthem sung by Ryan McNeil. Reverend Wright, please. Good afternoon. Can we bow our heads together, please? Eternal God, our Father, we're grateful for another day, for another opportunity to gather, to fellowship, to celebrate, to just be in one another's presence and to breathe the, this air that you have given us. We ask your blessings on this effort, this event, as we come to the conclusion of Black History Month, which is Americans' History Month, which is all about History Month. Uh, we, we ask that it would be pleasing in your sight, that it would be beneficial to all concerned. Bless those that are here and those that are on their way. Again, we thank you for the opportunity to share and to serve. We ask it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit. And let the people say amen. 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 Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Feel free to join me if you like. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoice. Skies, let it resound loud as the rolling seas. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us, and sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. Thank you, Ryan. Phenomenal voice. And thank you, Reverend, for those inspiring words. I'd now like to call up our state senator, Joseph Krein, to say a few words. We give Ryan another round of applause. How wonderful was that? I want to thank the mayor. I want to thank Reverend Wright and everybody for being here. First thing I got to do, and maybe y'all might agree, what is your name right there? Yeah, your name. Your, what's your name? Ryan. Ryan as well. Let's, my man, your hair is something, all right? Like, loving that. And we could smile about that because we've been together much of this month together. Uh, here in the Township of Union, I want to take a moment to thank the governing body, particularly the mayor, Sam, many, many folks who have brought us together for different events. We've learned a lot about culture. We've learned a lot about music. We've learned a lot about history. And most importantly, we've learned different ways to celebrate each other here in the month of February. Now, as, Sam, as Reverend Wright said, black history is American history. It's 12 months a year. But this month in particular has been special, and I want to take a moment and thank the Township of Union for bringing us together in so many ways. But while we've celebrated music and choirs, today we get to celebrate entrepreneurship. So if you get a chance, buy yourself a book, 
right? Keith over there is a pretty good seller. He's got eight books. Don't be bashful, all right? If you have a granddaughter, may I suggest a pocketbook, okay? All right, especially those five and under. Um, but in particular, whatever it is, take a look, because it really doesn't matter you know, what we look like on the outside, it's what we are on the inside. And on the inside, we all celebrate the same things. We want better opportunities for our kids. We want economic opportunities for us and for a great future. And together, let's work to make sure of it. The only thing I want to see from the 70s anymore is, is Ryan's haircut. <laughs> all right? Thanks, everybody, and enjoy the celebration. Call up a friend of uh, Union Township, always around to join us at various events. I'd like to introduce our Union County Commissioner, Sergio Granados. It's always hard to follow the senator. He not only has inspiring words, but even brings presidents that he bought through the vendor tables. But Union Township, I think Senator said it correctly, Union Township's always at the forefront when it comes to showcasing the diversity that's taking place in Union County. And today is more than just a vendor fair. It's about bringing together entrepreneurs, it's about bringing together individuals from the community, from first time book writers, authors, to vendors, to arts and crafts. It's all about showcasing that everything that takes place here in Union County and Union Township. So we thank the body, governing body for all the hard work they do for showcasing the diversity, but most importantly, the residents and everyone who's out here today celebrating each other. Because we are one, no matter the color of your skin, we need to make sure that we look after and help one another grow and succeed and making sure that we're purchasing not only items, but also having those conversations with other individuals about the lives they've been through and the life they've had and how we can try to help them and help ourselves learn from it. Thank you very much. Thank you again, Commissioner. I'd like I'd like to call up Deputy Mayor Flores just to say a few words. Deputy Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. Hey, is this a great day or is this a great day in here today, right? I, I want to echo what the mayor said. Thank all the vendors for coming out. I hope you do business well. Let's give them a hand again for coming out here today, okay? Thank you for joining us today as we close out Black History Month with spectacular cultural event as we celebrate and reflect the contributions of African Americans. As Mayor Figueroa mentioned, the theme for this year is American or African Americans and the arts. And today, we will just see that. From tap dancing to carnival, with energetic movements and colorful costumes and music from modern day to jazz, we will see multiple forms of creative expression and history and folklore. While you're enjoying the arts, please don't forget to visit our different vendors. We have over 40 vendors, including art vendors, local businesses, food vendors, and food trucks. Thank you again and enjoy the day. Thank you. I want to call up Committeeman Bowser. What's amazing, this is an amazing end to Black History Month. As we come together to celebrate black excellence, it is truly great to see the turnout of black business owners, artists, food vendors, and talent. I'm truly happy and proud to see the outpouring of support by all of you. I hope this event is a reminder of all of you to support our black-owned businesses every day and every month, not just for Black History Month. Improving black economic conditions was a major part of the civil rights struggle. We are here today realizing and experiencing some really economic, hard economic times. And our small businesses truly still need our love. For many, and for most, I like to say this has really been a great day. I like to th they really thank the talent in the room. Also, whether you purchase a gift for yourself or someone like the, the senator did, grab a, or grab a bite to eat, of some of the delicious food we have on some of our food trucks outside. Keep in mind that you need to support the black small business owners. It's something that we really need to continue to do. With that being said, I just want to say, enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you, Committee Ambassador. I want to call up Committee Woman Gara Frazier. Now, just so you know, this woman had 
major spinal surgery a week ago, and here she is. She was not going to miss this event for anything. Not at all. And I want to take a second to show off this ring that I just bought. Isn't it amazing? Thank you. So yes, I have spent all of my money today, so I'm going to ask my committee members to help me get something to eat later on. <laughs> okay, so good afternoon and welcome. Greetings to all of the dignitaries and all of you that are present today. On behalf of Commissioner Dulles Ford, she sends her regards. She couldn't make it, she's home, she's not feeling well, but she is here in spirit. Um, as an educator, learning, teaching, and celebrating black history brings me so much joy, especially the arts, as I come from a family of artists, except for one person who shall remain nameless. <laughs> I love you, honey. Okay, events like today remind me that the arts help us, help root us in the rich soil of our heritage so that we can stand confident in our ability to help shape our world. Please enjoy this beautiful expo as we showcase an array of black visual arts, performing arts, and culinary arts who help us see our common humanity and inspire us to create a better world. And before you leave, don't forget to stop at our cafeteria to get a picture drawn by our cartoonist. Thank you all so much for being here and enjoy the rest of your day. Let's I'd like to call up committeeman James Louis. Please, James. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, James Lewis. Um, I was told this event was sold out a month ago. So we know there's a lot of people that wants to come here and be part of this event. So I'm not going to keep you long. Um, I just want to say a simple quote uh, by a painter, a writer. He's by the name of Faith Wingold. And this is what he has to say. You cannot sit around and wait for somebody else to say who you are. So you have, you have got to know who you are. Not only know who you are, you have to write it down, pen it, and act on it. So I encourage everyone uh, within themselves to find your craft, mold it, not just mold it, but also excel at it. So use your craft to uplift your race and spread out our culture and become the best that you can be. Good afternoon, everyone. Have a good afternoon, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you. Before we close this portion of our program with a video, a glimpse into our history, I want to thank everyone, everyone that's here today, for coming out and celebrating Black History Month and supporting these local-owned black businesses here. We have an exciting lineup for you today. At 2 o'clock, the Foreman Brothers. If you've never seen them, they're amazing. They're right there, those two handsome young men. At 3.30, we have the Carnival Dancers, which is an Afro-Caribbean dance troupe. And at 4 o'clock, we have Khalil Bell and Friends, which is a jazz band. So it's a wonderful afternoon. And before I call everyone's attention to the monitors for our video, I hope everyone enjoys today's festivities. And I encourage you to shop local, get to know these vendors that are here today, and don't forget to visit our food vendors as Committee woman Gary Frazier said they're in the cafeteria and there's food trucks outside. So you get hungry, need a bite to eat, stop by, get something for them. Without further ado, here's a glimpse into our history. Thank you, everyone. Guys, a round of applause again for that video. I want to give a shout out to Union TV interns. They work really hard. They put that video together. Maybe the voice sounded familiar, but um, yeah. So round of applause to our Union TV interns. And so now we are going to kick our event off. By the way, I am Edith Thomas, Union TV, Township of Union. Thank you all so much for coming out. We are going to have a great day today, but you don't want to see me anymore. You want to see these talents two individuals behind me. You might have seen them in our Juneteenth performances. You might have seen them at Unions Got Talent because they were our winner two years ago. Right, fellas? Oh, they're practicing. But yes, so help me give a round of applause to the Foreman Brothers. Good afternoon. Oh, come on, you could do better than that. Good afternoon. I'm going to do it one more time for, for Charm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. All right. My name is Ellis Foreman.
My name is Jaden Foreman, and we are the Foreman Brothers. Thank you so much for having us. We are so excited to celebrate black history with all of you, all right? Because if you don't know black history, tap dance is a black art form, right? We started from Africa to the plantation, to the street corners, to the theater, to the silver screen. Black history is all in tap dance, from the rhythm to the music, right, to the feeling of it, okay? And we're so excited to share that with you. Now we are tap dancers, That's right. okay? And a lot of people have come before us and we're so excited to push the art from forward. You may have heard these names, Gregory Hines, Maurice Hines, Sammy Davis Jr., Savion Glover. All right, these are all amazing tap dancers that have come before us. And another one we wanna say is James Buster Brown. Right now, he was an extraordinary tap dancer who danced all over the world, and he created this one dance called Laura, and we're gonna perform it for you today.
up a tree And I feel I'm clinging to a cloud I can't understand I get misty Just holding your hand Walk my way And a thousand violins Begin to play Or it might be the sound Of your hello The music Whenever you need Don't you know You're leading me on And that's just what I want you to do Can't you see That I'm home in love
lift my hands from my glove I'm too misty and too much in love
Thank you. My heart is sad and lonely For you I sigh For you dear only Why haven't you seen it? I'm all for you body and soul I spend my days and longing and you know you're the one I'm longing I tell you I mean it I'm all for you body and soul I can't believe it it's hard to conceive it
spend my days in longing Boy, you know you're the one I'm longing I tell you I mean it I'm all for you, body and soul I can't believe it It's so hard to conceive it Did you turn away romance? Are you pretending he loves like the ending? I lost you, give me one more time to prove Dear, my life the love you're making yeah. You know I'm yours Thank you.